Lucas Media. So Javante Tank Davis, during his post-fight interview, had several things to say, including about who he wants to fight next or potentially fight next. Now, after an eighth-round knockout yesterday versus Frank Martin, Javante Tank Davis was asked about his performance, and he did say Frank Martin is his tough is a tough competitor but he isn't the hardest person he fought however he wouldn't say it and of course the people in the press started asking him who he should fight next and would he be willing to fight Loma he said yes it doesn't matter who out of I guess him Shakur and a couple other people but he said that he's willing to fight whoever next now Bob Arum did come out a couple days ago and say that there was negotiation between him I mean, Tank Davis and Facility High Tech Lomachenko for potentially November. And I'm okay with this fight. I mean, I did want to see this fight a few years ago. But, you know, he being, Tank being with Mayweather Promotions, they wasn't allowing him to fight who he wanted to fight. And him and Leonard Ellerby at the time just kept saying, you know, we're going to take our time and we're not in a rush. And I remember they used to say, oh, Tank's 22 years old. He's 23 years old. He got all the time in the world. And, you know, part of me felt like this Floyd them. And as a promotional company, you want to do this. You want to give your fighters the best opportunity to win. But it would have been nice to see Tank fight Lomachenko three, four years ago. And that was, this has been Tank's biggest knock. Just like how now they're saying that this is Frank Martin's Tank Davis' biggest opponent. Even though he fought Ryan Garcia... It was the way that the rehire the weight limit was what 136, and then he couldn't rehydrate more than 10 pounds. So the advantage was clearly the tank the whole time, and then Ryan moved up to 140. But if they fight this November, I'm okay with that. I'm even okay with him fighting Shakur. He did say that he'll he'll fight Shakur and he'll stop him as well. And honestly, this year 2024, I want to see Tank be more active. You know. He's been, and I, again, I don't know if this is the PBC, Al Heyman, Floyd Mayweather, but he has not been active like that. Tank should be fighting two to three times a year. So if he's going to fight in November, then let's see him. But I want to see Tank fight against cop competition. I don't want to see him fight Joe Schmo, who don't nobody really want to see him fight. If we going to fight, if he going to fight somebody and he says he claims he got this this biggest deal even bigger than Floyd's let's see him fight the best of the best you know it, it, it's too long it's too many people down there you got the Shakur Stevenson's the Teofimo Lopez even Ryan Gar well no Ryan fit to be suspended but you know maybe after his two three years suspended he can come back but even at the end even Devin Haney and I just made a previous video that was a legendary sparring session even though Devin got the best of Tank you know Tank was ready to tap out out there he looked a little tired but I still would want to watch Tank Davis versus Devin Haney. So, you know, if Tank, if you're going, if you're going to fight and say you got a hit list, then let's really see this list. I don't want to hear him saying, well, I don't know. And, you know, uh, uh, these people, they got to fight me. They don't bring in revenue. And I don't want to hear the fan base talking about, oh, Tank ain't got to fight this person. Because, again, if he claims he got this mega deal, then let's see the best fight the best. I just want to get my quick thoughts about it and tell me what y'all think.